Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about creating methods inside of the same class that we have our main method. So if you've been following along with this course, there's probably been one question that you've had, or if you haven't had it, then I'm going to address it in this video anyway. Over here, I have my main method, right? I just have this main method, public static void main. Remember, this method's important in Java because any code we put in here is gonna get executed when we run our program. You'll notice though, down here, below this main method, I've created another method. And this method is called say hi, and you pass it a string and it just says hi. So this is like the simplest method in the world. But you'll notice here, I'm using this static keyword. And if you've been following along up to this point, you'll know that generally when we create methods, like if I create a method inside of a class, I don't always have to use this static keyword. Now we can use this static keyword. And we've talked about you know what the static keyword does when you're using it inside of a class. The question becomes, why are we using this static keyword up here with this main method? And the basic answer is because when we have this main method set to static, which it absolutely has to be, we can only call this say hi method if we also make it static. Otherwise, I can't. So if I was to get rid of this static keyword down here, if I just said public void like we normally would, you see over here we get this error message. It says, cannot make a static reference to a non-static method say hi. Basically what that means is if this guy isn't static, then this static method can't access it. And, you know, I could get into the, you know, the technical reasons why this is happening, but basically I just want to point out that this is the thing. So if I want to be able to call it just like this, I have to make this static down here. But the question becomes what happens if we don't want to make this static? So is it possible for me to get rid of this static keyword and still be able to use this method? And the simple answer is absolutely. The only thing is we're going to have to create an instance, we're going to have to create an object of the app class. So you'll notice in here, my public static void main method is contained inside of this app class, right? And even though the main method is like super special, I can still use this as a normal object. So if I wanted to use this say hi function, all I'd have to do is create an app object. So I could just say app, my app is equal to new app. So now I'm creating an app object and I can just reference this method directly. So I can say my app dot say hi. And now I should be able to access this say hi method just like we did before. The only difference was I had to create an instance of the app class. And so that's kind of the main difference between, you know, using this guy down here as static um, and not using it as static. So as we went through this course, especially when I like introduced methods, um, I was just kind of like, hey, you just need to trust me that we need to put static down here. That was basically just for simplicity's sake. But now that we have an understanding of not only objects and classes, but also static, I wanted to show you guys, you know, essentially why this is the case. So that's basically all you need to do to create a method down here that's not static. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.